welcome to a special edition of the program Good Morning Salon where they come to you from 98.1 FM. Today now Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. We were the British special edition of the program come to you. Mina Asma James. And Mina Mabel Kaba, good morning. Today inside this special program where the democracy they bring to now, where they ask after 20 years of multi-party democracy if Salon don't go before or they go behind. Well, this and plenty um, voices then they inside for you on the program. I want to appreciate me guest them. They kaya exactly 7 o'clock as planned and we want to say um, kudos to Una for Una Kama. I'm going to introduce the guest then to Una, but first let me just go to Princess Pierce for Radio Democracy National News. The Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. This is Salon and some international news, but first the main points them inside the news. President Julius Madabio don't say for reduce overcrowding at school them. Governments they can build new classroom them na urban area school them and safe go tap the two shift school system. The public relations officer na the Salon Bar Association, Tijan Israel Jadon say na illegal method the Minister of Lands can use for take back government's land them from people. What in the minister they do, he has to have a court order for discharging his duty or carrying out his function. We believe he's doing it in an illegal manner. And Magistrate Magiba, na the Padamba Road Magistrate Court Number no. 2, don't send one 18 year old Mohamed Lamin Kamara on remand because police alleged say a jog one woman in phone and other property them will cost over 1 million loans. That's not the main point them. Now for the full news with Princess Pierce. The public relations officer for the Salon Muslim Congress, Sheikh Ali Khalido, encouraged Muslim them for observe this holy month of Ramadan the right way. Fasting in the month of Ramadan. When you look at them, any two Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or din say le wuna dua. Not for in wuna the dua. Now for wuna self, we need taqwa, alcohol, haram, adultery, fornication. Majority of the Muslims avoid it. Corruption. What do we achieve? During this month of Ramadan, it's not different from waiting the before and after Ramadan. It will for improve after Ramadan, will for intensify after Ramadan. You avoid gossiping. So if you maintain this at the end of the day, you get for a good person. Sheikh Ali Kale talk this in our interview with the democracy, where if they talk about the fasting, we Muslim them all over the world, they observe right now as part of the five pillars of Islam. He continues to say, this is not the the Muslim name for they do good and live holy life, where it's going to make them get more blessing. The impressed administrator na the European Union delegation at Salon, Jamila Tustoba, don't say, if you don't go give equipment them, we cost 810,000 euros to the Ministry of Agriculture for help fetch the fall army warm, where it's taking the soyers and maize plants them. We total uh, money we EU give for festival and we about 810,000 euros. We include, you know, purchasing of uh, fair on traps, trips to Brazil and other African countries so that we many see people and go understand how for is for and warm. So we can hand over some IT and communications equipment to the Ministry of Agriculture for first we call the fall army warm because um, from 2016 uh, in the EU we don't see we get this emergency of this fall army warm with affects crops them, especially maize, and also we staple food rice in the salon. Jamie Latus Toba talk this, now under the EU Boosting Agriculture and Food Security Project, where he said he covered the 15 districts them and the country inside the next four years. He continues to say, all this now because they know the CC over the past year them, the fall army warm, be done the poor people a rest and maize plantation. And Madam Stoba say, this support to the Ministry of Agriculture gets for continue for cashew, cocoa and coffee production. The public relations officer at the Salon Bar Association, Tijan Israel Jadon say, na illegal method the Minister of Lands ki use for take back government's land them where people be done the use. In the way and manner the minister the discharging function, it gets the potential for insight, uh, ill affection and ill will towards the government. So we believe as bar associations say, what in the minister they do, he has to have a court order for discharging his duty or carrying out his function. We believe he's doing it in an illegal manner. Tijan Israel just say, the Salon Bar Association don't get plenty complaint from people where they allege say the Minister of Lands not the handle land issue them here the right way. 
Usa is say the association believes in a court order them for use for people come out and states or any other land. So he say that that's make the Salon Bar Association do right to the ministry for make the ministry no say law they where they for fall up for people where get land them and some of them cannot develop. Because he say, if this continue, it go and bog the country in peace, we land could scarce, go plenty pass away they now. The President Julius Madabio don't say, for reduce overcrowding at school them, governments they can build new classroom them na urban area school them, and self go make the two shift school system tap. A government will construct new classroom blocks in urban towns to reduce congestion in schools and eventually eliminate the two-shift system in the next few years. We will continue to pursue the policy of one administrative section, one primary school, one electoral ward, one junior secondary school, and one electoral constituency, one junior secondary school. President Bill talk this na in state opening speech na parliament this being team. Usa is say this na for make the free quality education work proper one. He continue say, and governments don't say much so pay but 5.6 billion loans for 15,000 students them we apply na all tertiary institution them across the country. And President Bill say, but 256 salon students them, they benefit now from different international scholarship them. And say governments don't complete negotiation process for build the center of excellence for information, communication, technology, education, Nabont Island. Where all this is say, now for improve the standard of education na the country. Magistrate Mark Geba na the Panemba Road Magistrate Court No. 2, don't send one 18-year-old Mohamed Lamin Kamara on remand na the Mail Correctional Center because police alleged since April this year na Wilkinson Road na Free Tong, e been jog one Suzanne Mansarin phone, another property them will cost over 1 million loans. The accused be appear for the second time for answer to Lassini, contrary to Section 2 of the Lassini Act of 1916. According to the victim, Suzanne Mansare is say, a mini worker with him paddy, where the accused Mohamed Lamin Kamara been slap him and jogging phone. He say now one Okada man been run after him, we make the able care him go na police. For sake of that, Magistrate Magiba been send the accused on remand so to May 16 this year, where the case go come up na courts. The police prosecutor for this case, na PC Abdul Taib Ba, 12079. You they listen to news where they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. Now not time for news but other country them. According to BBC reports, five people them don't die and plenty won't see us one na Pakistan after one explosion will be outside one major Sufi Muslim shrine when a one of the oldest Muslim shrine in South Asia. This incident be the ten Muslim them na Pakistan be they observe the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. According to authority, them say the one them we do this at be attack the police vehicle, but be eat the shrine. And according to reports, the United Nations right chief Michelle Bachelet don't want the Cameroon government for try to have violence or another bad thing them where security them they do not that country day. As he say, this go and the country in peace and also not the send good message to the world, but Cameroon where this is say go make people fight for going at the country. For done the news, the main points them back. President Julius Malabio don't say, for reduce overcrowding at school them. Governments, they can build new classroom them na urban area school them and self go tap the two shift school system. The public relations officer and the Salomba Association, Tijan Israel Jadon say, na illegal method the Minister of Lands can use for take back government's land them from people. And Magistrate Mark Gibbana, the Padamba Road Magistrate Court No. 2, don't send one 18 year old Mohamed Lamin Kamara on remand because police allege say a jog one woman in phone and other property them will cost over 1 million dunes. That's Nasaloon and some international news. Welcome to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM with Princess Pierce. All right. Well, this program, a special program of Good Morning Salon, where they come to you from 98.1 FM. Plenty thank you to Princess Piers for the news. Well, inside um, the program this morning, as we tell you now, 20 year, after 20 years of multi-party democracy, Salon, they go before or 
they go be in. Well, at the program this morning, we want to welcome we guest them. We they can help we talk about this and also the voice of Sierra Leoneans and other people them will talk to na the program. The first first thing I want to introduce this morning na um Joabas Bangura in a social commentator and motivational leader. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Asma. Thank you very much. Good morning, Sierra Leone. All right. Well, um the my next guest na Andula Valley. He na the head of um, IGR Institute for Governance Reform. Good morning, Mr. Lavalier, and welcome to the program. Good morning, good morning. Master. And would you expect to forget uh, Madam Valnora Edwin at the program this morning? Good morning, Salon, where they come to you from 98.1 FM. Would you look at um, Salon Democracy and also the country if you don't go be in or it go before? Well, um, the program now, Good Morning Salon, and it come to you from 98.1 FM. And as usual, and not forget to know yourself where they listen to the program or they watch we live na the Radio Democracy Facebook page on our YouTube and I get the opportunity for be part of the conversation this morning again. As soon as I go send on a message and make on a young comment regarding the topic we look at na the program this morning. Well, as we ask the question after twenty years of multi party democracy, if Salon they go before or it go be in. We the first gun at the University of Salon, also Dr. Habib Sisi when a one senior lecturer na the Department of Political Science say in belief say Salon no go before after twenty years of multi party democracy. Let me listen to the interview with Alex Lorenz Coromado with him. From my point of view, Sierra Leone no go before. You no go behind, you no go before. And there's no progress. I don't know how you go put that in a prayer. There has been no progress, very minimal progress. I say so, if you come out overseas, you come. You see the buildings. We say people then live in a Panemba Road at the west end of Freetown. And you go to the east, mountain court area. You go sorry for yourself. If you go up the regions, and the south may come out. You see the feeder roads. You see the communities where people then live. You go sorry for yourself. Not until SAPP take office, before the main thoroughfare with the link Sierra Leone and Liberia via Corribondo, they even begin paved that road there. So how I would say we will go before, if I talk that, I'd lie for anybody. I don't go lie for myself. I've never deceived myself. If you watch the streets in a free town, they have never been paved. Walk on a circular road and see the streets, R Street, Prince Street, you name it, Main Street, they are all in a very bad situation. What's that in the call? Samba Corner. Around Peter B. The way rain comes. Samba quarter. Samba You go sorry for yourself. So, sir, you know before. However, the situation today is a historical process. Now, thing will be not begin since 1462 when Pedro de Centra, that Portuguese man, be anchor in ship for get fresh water. From that moment day to today, we have been in the orbit of the Western world. The world, the capitalist world economy, has dictated what happens to us in Africa. If you look at Africa with 54 countries today, each and every country get enormous resources, both minerals and agricultural resources. But if you look among Africans, we are the poorest. We are bank poor. Why? Sierra Leone is a microscopic of Africa. We have the same facilities, enormous mineral resources, diamond, gold, bauxite, aluminite, zircon, coltan, you name it, we have it here, even though we don't discover crude oil. We also have cocoa, coffee, ginger, cassava in our country, but yet we are so poor, our youths are more abound. Our youths do not have jobs. Even those who have attempted to receive degrees are unemployed. It's a pathetic situation. How do we come to this? This is what a building allow called the tragedy of endowment. We have enormous resources and yet we experience such vicious poverty. Foreigners who are non Sierra Leoneans and non Africans are the chief beneficiaries of what we get today. How did that come about? We found ourselves in this situation on three reasons. One, colonial rule and new colonialism after independence. The British colonized us through the Berlin Congress of 1884 to 1885, towards the end of the 19th century. Sierra Leone found itself within the imperial interest 
of Great Britain, we were colonized since the Berlin Congress. Europeans they don't want really fight over themselves. They want fight. They say, let me not fight. Let me meet. Let me divide the people here and the continent of Africa. The continent will not belong to them. They divided it among themselves. The balkanization of Africa commenced at the end or during the 1884 and 1885 Congress. It was Otto von Bismarck, the German Chancellor, who chaired that convention. At the end of it, Africa was divided among imperial powers, Britain, France, Germany, Belgium, you name it, Spain. They all took partitions of Africa. Sierra Leone found itself Sierra Leone among Gambia, Gold Coast, Nigeria, Kenya, Tanganyika, Northern Rhodesia, Southern Rhodesia, South Africa, we all found ourselves within the ambit of Britain. What can we do? They have superior soldiers. As I said, colonial rule and new colonialism partially contribute to what we get today. How did that happen? Even after independence, our mineral resources were mined by multinational corporations that were organized by joint stock companies. Company where Serenos are not own. Companies where the owners, when they want to get equity, we are those who we are part, who we are citizens of countries that we are militarily strong, diplomatically powerful, and wealthy, we're not able to change any aspect of our life. And they left out their regime, their economic system, their banks, their insurance companies, their vehicles, their way of life, their culture, their values, their beliefs and assumptions. We all became part of it. The second reason why we found ourselves here is because of lack of selfless political leadership. We don't get a political leadership where we're able to galvanize with wealth for satisfy or for, for the benefit of Sierra Leoneans. No political will, and we do not have strong political institutions. If we've been getting wire, we get self-led political leadership, strong political will, and above all, we get strong institutions who we adhere to. Can you mean what so today? Panama Road over Tanso today. Their houses, their wooden houses, Victorian models, they see them, they, they, then they patch them with all kinds of things. It's shameful for come over since you can't see the country. The third reason why we turn so, because of massive, unbridled corruption within all levels of government. There are corrupt practices here. They siphon money for education, for health, for roads, for highways, for bridges and feeder roads, and even for construction of dwelling facilities. Then we all don't contribute for make we stand still. Well, that's now Dr. Habib Sisi, when I want senior lecturer at the Department of Political Science, be they talk to Alex Lawrence Kuruma about waiting a thing but the question we will be the asked today after 20 years of multi-party democracy if Salon don't go before or they go be in. All right, the time from the studio clock this morning at 19 minutes after 7. And we've been telling people and say today in a special program where they start at 7 um, this morning at the program. As I don't introduce the studio guests them earlier on, I will introduce them again at the program as so we can look at Saloon Democracy and look at the country as a whole. Well, at the studios again, I want to welcome Joe Abbas Bangoa in a social commentator and motivational leader. And also Angula Valley from IGR. We expect to get Valnora Edwin. We also will come up with a talk about this topic this morning. Good morning, Salon. We come to you from 98.1 FM. You can go to the Radio Democracy Facebook page and watch we live. Also, listen we on www.radiodemocracy.sl. And you can send your comments to the number 077 981 Well, all this now with support from Usiwa and Afrisel. The program now, Good Morning Salon. Well, I come over to the studio guest them. Um, I start with you, Mr. Angula Valley. Mm -hmm. Don't they work all in life in governance? And don't they do serious research them? We get um, different, different um, issues on different, different issues them. And it gets vast knowledge in democracy. Well, um, 20 years of, of multi party democracy. Within Salon, will they go before or will they come in? Two minutes, Mr. Lavalli. Thank you very much, Asma, and good morning, listeners. I think they're the best person for asking that question in our, in our President Bill. Um, because uh, 23 years ago, now he handed over power. 
and after that the SLPP don't rule for 10 years, APC don't rule for 10 years. So I think say it's good now, the topic really timely because it's good now for let's alone evaluate and let us see how we will move forward. Whether this system here will get, if it's Mendeman, if it's Timniman, if it's Lokoman, whether this is put to before, or whether we need to adopt something new, we will work for we. I think say this this is not the most timely topic at, at all time for let we, we, we actually see who's how they make progress, who's how they go wrong, and how will they sit them together and all fix them. All right, um, <laughs> you know, it's two minutes, but I go manage that day. I'm um, going come over to we other studio guest, Jorabas Bangura, on the same topic. Who's are we day um, with we salon democracy? Progress or with the BM? I think we, we, we don't make progress. Um, you get two kind of people in the world. People, um, you get the one set where they always say the glass say half empty, and see the pe people, they see the glass half full. Normally, what they happen, the people who they see the glass half empty are weakened. Uh, they don't give up. Uh, the energy for start, for build, low. The person who they see the glass, the glass half full, they look at them from a positive point of view in terms of what we can do to fix. I could go back and tell you 25, from 23 years ago, uh, 20 years ago, when we um, went through this process to get to force elections, I voted in, in most of the elections, in all of the elections from that same day, um, given me age. Things have changed. Things have progressed. Are we where we, we want to be? No. I can look at the roads. And, and you know, so I won't forget joint credit to SLPP, the government, and all we will be for those past 20 years. Credit to them. Now, um, the, the level of light where I don't see over the last um, 12, 18 months, before the elections and now, I don't remember I was standing in my life where I see them, the, that light today, where I experience her. From the 10 day where they go, I pam away, I go for the go sleep now, I pam night, because now they normal light today. Wellington, forget about it. It was dead. So if you go back to the internet, if I count all of those points, I will tell you we've made progress. I look at the roads infrastructure jointly by the, gov the two governments, them even though not just one year SLPP done there for, or take the SLPP government who have been done there um, in the first 10 years, um, where they get the first round. A lot, of, a lot has changed in terms of infrastructure. Somebody they talk this number the roads, then we well. You know they talk about the roads, then we make. You know they talk about the road up regions. We don't save half of our life in terms of everything we we've been spend for, for able for, for traverse the city for go um, for make we go upline roads all over the place so progress has been made we're not yet where we want to be but progress has been made talk about institutions um so we are ability for for just appreciate force i think it's a beautiful thing just appreciate where right. we are that right. progress has been made credit has to be given to right. both slpp and and apc and and that's where is the best place to start from all right um two minutes into your time of the topic i, I think um, i get more time eh? Okay, no, I just want to talk something. I think I think say about something talk things that were really beautiful. I just we just see the peace reports come out which shows say Sierra Leone is the most peaceful country in West Africa. We actually need for celebrate. People in feel say we always they kill one another, we defect one another. But Boku country and they admire Saloon. So I think say that is something we we really worthy of special notice. When you watch the Kuruma administration, one of they can talk to say President Kuruma in biggest legacy in our infrastructure. But we look at institutions back. Like, for example, the land policy where he left. In fact, even SLPP cite him in the manifesto, say we will implement the land policy. So he does say there is some, some sense, of, sense of progress where they be. Now we talk about national cohesion. We'll okay. get draw draw about the national cohesion and how we for how we for implement them, how we for even get a national dialogue. But for the mere fact that we the talk say now, let we begin the talk. What's in the go wrong and how they fix them? I think say that one day is really phenomenal. All right, um, we can not talk about that um, inside the program as you already don't mention. Sierra Leone at least remain one of the most peaceful country in uh, um, West Africa. But um, let we look at waiting. Don't when are the progress? They will to talk about progress. Where Joe Mo talk about progress where the country don't make. Um, waiting are some of them progress they are so we think say the country don't make. We can stretch them. We can stretch each and all one of these. And again, the, the more time we take, you know, like we say, Chris says, count your blessings, name them one by one. Um, it, it doesn't do good to say Alionians. If any tendency talk about Salon, now only the things they will not work, that's what we talk about. It doesn't do good to us, even in with spirit. And again, we will, we will talk during the course of the program, waiting at the fundamental reason for this. Um, we make, we want for able for just criticize and undermine the other person with it, so that we can build our own standing. Um, so it's, it's at the crux. But again, let's list them back, one after the other. Now, talk about free quality education. Because we did talk about, you want for beginning up to now. Up to now, 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 one, one second ago. 
had all the things then. That's why I said go back, just go back the first election 1996. What would have been the basis for the election then? Amos fed to Bindepa. Amos, Amos broke aid and every other thing we, we may just pray God, yeah, if not the Fed, let the Fed just done. Let every other thing, elect nothing else not happen, elect road not, elect water not, let the Fed just done. Are we fighting today? No, we're not. They say we're we one of the peaceful. Look at all the institutions then we pack up and settle. And look at the way that the institutions then they will they build up on our today. You look at America, it's about almost as they take for build America. They celebrate in almost, almost 100 years, 200 and something years of their, their independence. With the top of 58. So it took them 200 and something years to get to the side and they saw. So we are ability for you say every block where we lay today, building on what we have already, is getting us to where we're supposed to go. So, in as much as we would look at the things that are not working, ability to be able to say, light is better off, the roads are better off, the quality of education don't go down big time from the time they will be in the go school. But, um, you know, with what is now being ignited with President Bio and free quality education, you want for to say, there's hope for make progress be made in that direction. But really, if we're ready for count, I could count, believe me, ask my, I'll take 30 minutes and I'll analyze. I live my life in Asalo. I live, you know, I'm 52 years of age. So that means I don't see a bit of the old bit. I see where train they go, training last, last days. I see training last days then. Okay. And I know how my life been later in time, like the quality of life that and the quality of life now. Uh Granted that me don't advance, I don't grow up in a society, so that maybe in a different strata are they now. But generally, 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 we have made some progress. All right. Plenty. Thank you. Jabas Bangura, will they come back to you? Let's just ask the same question to Andula Valewe Komotna, the Institute for Governance Reform. You don't listen to it, in Mr. Bangura just don't say, but some of the progress, them way in things say, Salon don't make the past 20 years. Now you don't say, waiting at the progress, them way the country don't make so far. I go show one, and... I believe say this now something we can bluff with. The world we don't change two governments. We don't change SLPP don't come, APC don't come. With the actual team up in a line, we we'll go vote. Without with minimal bloodshed, people in Kentucky say um, you know we can we get electoral violence. Every day we they talk about electoral violence. But when they talk about the ninety five percent peaceful election we they get. So I can say thanks to to former President Kuruma. I can say thanks to uh Berua, pa Berua. It takes courage for lay in a power. They say they don't vote against your party. You left that power there. So I think, say, we watch election. If you watch Kenya, you watch uh, Nigeria, where election can be your like, say, na, 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 war, na, na, na war. war. So inside Salon, yes, we can get with Big Green, but, but uh, we, I think, say, the change we don't take place and the peaceful transfer of power. Now, something we'll for celebrate. I don't think, say, inside Salon, Tim Niman hates Mendeman. Mendeman hates Tim Niman. The level of tolerance who would they get? In fact, when somebody they try say for for take and say you want to take the country in one one region, one direction, all man they vex by you. So I think say we don't they institutionalize some consciousness say we for be one nation. And this goes it, it speak back to the way we we do the the, the colonial investment. They look like Bosco. Um, I would have loved to go to Bosco. Um, if you that now one school way, almost everybody. If you go now one chief dom, everybody did it. He got an alumni from both school. Where you go for big college? If you go now for big college, almost every chief dom he get an alumni of big college because all the can one place now they would go learn, now they would uh, you know interact with one another. So that sense of unity within inside salon. I tell you, tell you somebody talks to the tamper with them. We all the vex by that person. All right. The way we would do intermarriages, like, of course, I, when I need to talk about that, and they, I can always talk about that. Yes, yeah, stay married to me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're done with two studio guests, them, um, Andrew and also Joe. We they talk about um, Salon Democracy 20 years after, if the country actually they progress. But we get other issues, them, we they own now. We we'll can look for the tits for tats. Mm. But let me go to other voices. Where we try to talk to inside the program. Good morning, Salon. Well, we continue for look at the topic, and we all know say inside the past 20 years, the two major parties that we don't rule Salon now the APC and the SLPP. Let me start now to the Sierra Leone People's Party SLPP. But this topic where we can go to them for let them self tell we waiting and think Salon don't go before or they go beyond inside the past 20 years multi party democracy where the country don't practice. Well, Elizabeth Campbell talked to the national chairman and leader for the Ceylon People's Party, when a Dr. Prince Alex Hardin. And according to Ram Ese, he believes say, the country, although challenging, they 
we don't they go before small small let me listen to the interview where elizabeth campbell do with them definitely it don't go before for a variety of reasons one major aspect is we don't change governance from one democratically elected government to another one and also from another one to another one which it's a big leap in democracy. For say with democracy, you not get problems again. I know we say it in its in stage, but it improve. Now why is it improve? You get starting to situation where they, where they will call, we will give a semblance that we are in this area. No, but we are doing well. We well, normally will not be the change governance or government by elections all the time. It has still meet day from the 1960 when the army came in. Later on they gave it to Shaka TV. Later on again the SPC take over. They not give power of 24 years until the army can take over. Then there can be elections. Since we don't we introduce now real democracy from 2007, APC take over from SAPP through the ballot box. They will say SAPP said don't take over from APC. I think that's the beginning. How do we maintain now this democracy? By general interpretation. Because it's not just by winning elections now. First of all, how do you bring in the democratic institutions? Not to just vote in NCDH, our National Commission for Democracy Human Rights, not to them one of the financial institutions that they would have the NACI, the NRA and others where they uh, buttress the democracy. All the things will be strong, the judiciary will be strong, the legislation and the parliament for be strong. There are a lot of facets about it. How do we relate this with the both? I know how some people have been in a comment, which was very uncomplimentary. Do we respect our institutions, like the judiciary, the parliament, and of course the executive arm? Because everything acceptability, now that are the thing. Then when you lose power, do you want to play the leadership role still? If the answer is yes or no, or whatever happens, accept that you lost power. Then there are certain things that we for no say. Today, now they lead, now they take decision. Now you will take decision in collaboration. If that happens, you see, it's self realization. Now we as politicians for no. We as SAPP, we will lose power. We knew exactly we don't lose power. They would start down and try to do exactly what an opposition would do. We say we can't protest, we will protest, but we say we want to work together. Decisions they wouldn't take, for example, like what happened in Kenyman, the two constituencies they had pleasantly. Who they take an hour? They say somebody don't make petition, the election deal, they say that person is for contest, but the other one for contest. Okay, the man not contest, but a lot of people they will not print. People they vote for it. They go about 90 something percent of the vote. The other man get less than 10 percent. Okay, the decision was made that the man will get right for contest. We agree. So that can cause grievance. Similarly with the other one. But we as SAPP, we accept that. We say that the court don't take decision. We will not take and say politically. So what's happening now today, we have to realize that the judiciary However, we interpret it, you get a semblance of independence. Well, that's now uh, the chairman and leader for the Sierra Leone People's Party, SLPP, Dr. Prince Hardin, been a talk, not an interview with Elizabeth Campbell, but waiting the SLPP thing so far, but Salon done the practice multi party democracy inside the past 20 years. Well, also, we go now the All People's Congress, APC Party, and SEF, the Coalition for Change Party. Usai Mange Mansares been first talked to Usman Fode Yansane, we na the Secretary General for the All People's Congress APC Party. My name is Ambassador Alaji Usman Fode Yansane. I'm the National Secretary General of the All People's Congress APC. Country suffer under four years of military rule after the ouster of the APC in 1992. Another 11 years, including the military rule, 2002 under President Kaba. From 2002, we continued the democratic uh, process. President Kaba win the 1996 election after the military reluctantly hand over power to her. We in the APC served as an opposition and constructively contributed, even though after the 1996 elections we had only five members of parliament. We effectively participate and constructively for strengthening the democracy will be done start with the introduction of the 1991 multi-party pluralist constitution, the 1991 constitution. The NPRC make an attempt for change the constitution and bring a new constitution, then fail because our constitution was the product 
of the people's intention for a change from one party rule to multi party rule. So, 20 years down the line, I think President Kaba can give a human face to the SLPP by being accommodating, accommodated dissent, and uh, we believe, say, in the process, we're able push the democratic transformation of the country forward. We in the APC have always played an effective role, whether in opposition or in governance. Whatever development we don't see in this country, in APC, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of institutional building, now we. So if after the previous 10 years of Dr. Anes by Kuromain rule, the people are asked, even if it is in a referendum, I think they didn't get a very good grade. And the people have started complaining that oh, we've been there under Dr. Anes by Kuruma, things were better. And also, when I talk about 20 years from now, President Kaba served for 11 years. President Kuruma served for 10 years, and I uh, 21 good years. I think the country been done come from darkness. And if we be believe, say, government continuum, the one year will be done goes so not for wisdom, by witch hunting, not for wisdom, by trying to demonize the opposition. Now for come and start the work, going ahead. But it is not what this present government they do. We believe, say, if they want national cohesion, it is not to make Ambassador Yansane a minister. No, but to make Ambassador Yansane participate effectively in the governance machinery as an opposition. We, if I give views way contrary to that of the government, they're not for Kermi Guna CID or anti-corruption. Then for say yes, you don't say this, but you are wrong, rather than for intimidate you. We believe, say, a lot of good things will come out of this continuum from President Kaba. We would have arrested a lot of Kaba men, but we said, let's forget about it. Let us go ahead. And that is what President Kuruma did. And that is why the people are appreciate him all over the country. He is still popular. And the only president we after the he don't left power, the people still appreciate him. Tamba Sandi, national chairman, coalition for change party, C for C. Well, generally I would say some amount of progress don't take place from the la within the last twenty years. I'll start with the era of the late President Ahmed Tijan Kaba of blessed memory. Just after the war, we see the tremendous efforts we make. We try to do the infrastructure in the country because the war will not destroy all the hospitals, the schools, you name it. So during the era, we try to rebuild things and they, through the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Health, NAXA, etc., etc. So we did tremendously well. He not only left pandemic structures and they, he also built institutions. We up to now, they serve the people of Sierra Leone. E.g., NACIT, anti-corruption, they all serve the people of Sierra Leone today. Living President Kabani era, we come to that of former President Anis Bai Koroma. During the era, it prioritized infrastructure. And today, the connectivity that Sierra Leone it don't improve remarkably. You think of terrible roads like Kailao, where will they take three days for good day? Think of that of Kono, and think of other parts of the country. Each district headquarter town is paved. At least solar lights, water supply in some of these towns. I think there's tremendous progress was made. We're not going to say nothing you know, within the 20 years. Then don't build the foundation upon which we expect the current government for just build on top. We're not going to lie back with people then. The country is really, really deeply divided. It's really, really divided. And if we don't come together as a people, all the gains that we don't make in the past will be reversed. We know they pray for that. So the young, that president now, will take the initiative because the ball in nine cops. We don't get demanded for five years, whether you like it or not. He's the president of Sierra Leone. And then responsibility for make sure say, there is peace and tranquility in Sierra Leone. Because if there is no semblance of peace and tranquility in Sierra Leone, investors not go come, nothing not go happen. The country will go behind. And we're not even sure that. Well, that's not Samba Sandy, we're not the national chairman for the Coalition for Change. And earlier you've been listening to Ambassador for the Ambassador Osman for the Yansane, we are the Secretary General for the APC. And then self be the talk, but the question would they ask today after 20 years of multi party democracy if Salon don't go bien, or if Salon don't go before, or if they go bien. 
Right, um, the time from we stood the clock this morning at 7 41. And one for welcome Valnoya Edwin in the program after some very long time. I think after one year, we now get Sam Naya and in be one time head of campaign for good governance. He also gets um, vast knowledge in governance and democracy issues. Well, um, I be not ask the guests, them, the two guests, they earlier on, um, on the topic for talk about the topic 20 years of Salo Multi party democracy if the country don't progress or it will be in well i give yourself two minutes for discuss that thank you and good morning listeners i think i want for quote um kofi annan in one of the very many excellent speeches that we make we say um democracy na a, co a continuous process and it depends on how una way they practice and decide for push them forward you not get any country in the world we get 100% democracy, even country. Of course, on the flip side, some harassment, intimidation, they come on. But the fact that so much space, there's some countries, they don't get the kind of opportunity here. The fact that civil society also gets some level of space for letting they come, they, they analyze issues, they sit with government officials, they do analysis, nothing the way we need for applaud. The fact that we have a couple of institutions, democratic institutions, where despite the significant challenges we then get, then still they stand the test of time and we still they criticize them. I think say these are some of the things that we need for say um, yes we don't do well. And most importantly, we be able for all we democratic elections within a multi party framework. Of course then they shrouded with so much, so much challenge. But the fact that we able to forget them. Some countries then they now just um, one person you they see on and on and on. It is suppress all forms of opposition. In fact for Le, I think there is a country in Africa, um, I think it's Benin or one country, where somebody they explained to me yesterday they say the the president when the incumbents don't uh, um, among all the other opposition, don't give them court case, don't disqualify them, so now anyone will just stand the election. But in as much as we get challenged, those are things we've been able to achieve. And I mm. think, say, um, there is room for improvement, but would they make some progress on site, and would they get challenged in some side? All right, continue for the with three. Valno Edwin, uh, in your opinion, that's where you talk about um, 20 years of multi party democracy in a salon. Um, in as much as all of them don't talk about the progress, even the politicians will talk to some amount of progress we don't be. But we also get tit for tat politics, politics where they carry on. In um, when President Koma take over um, from Pakaba, instead we do Commission of Inquiry. And we see Commission of Inquiry now back under the SLPP. And also when the SLPP be the campaign, one thing where they may they talk about now the issue of politicians being heads of institution and also when APC come they sack some people them na the offices and we see it the same happen now na, na the country now. Mr um Lavalila can to you tit for tat po, um politics na the country where they go now what do you think about that? Thank you very much. And let's talk to APC and SLPP supporters on this particular topic. And I want to start with the then very constitution and the party constitution then the aims and objectives like you just read a few if you watch the apc constitution in fact it's structured around articles article three when are the the objective and the philosophy of the party say they say and they ensure say everybody every region every tribe every group they actively participate in the administration of the state and it's what they talk now if you party know they do am, you for go ask your party that question. See why you know they do what you don't agree to. Then say the second one, they say they go foster unity, friendship, reconciliation among all Sierra Leoneans, irrespective of tribe, creed, religion, sex, ethnic origin, etc. I don't go read all, but if you come to we to the SLPP, SLPP constitution is structured around clauses. And clause three. In the talk say if I, uh, one of the articles they talk say they say they will cooperate with political parties in fact they say they will cooperate with political parties within and outside of Sierra Leone in the struggle you know say this now all now na, be independence party in the struggle for self-determination good governance protection of human rights and elimination of all ethnic conflicts from the continent they say in fact they will support UN in various and various agencies of the international to promote peace uh, socio-economic development and establish um, and the establishment of human rights. SLPP say 
they will unify all ethnic groups in Sierra Leone. Yes, we see them here in the manifestos so they are pulled. You you talk about it for that. And when you watch dismissals, you talk you mention dismissals, like uh, Alassan Kanu, I think so Una Salon people they all all begin name names. Alassan Kanu was decentralization, um uh, director of decentralization about six uh, five, six months ago, he was sacked. Emmanuel Gaima was director of decentralization. About ten years ago, he was sacked. So now down the now, now, now the problem. When you watch today, the, the anger we did because of then thing and the way they happen, or they do we self, we they focus so much on hurting one another. JJ Safa, the Minister of Finance, JJ Safa been get appointment letter for Teach Nanjala University College. Then withdraw in letter because they say that SFPP is a general at the time. The same with Rado Soare. So if you we take that thing and to governance, it go it go bring problems. So in fact, now that make the biggest argument we we see now, how do we draw the line? How we go get people like Mandela? We go talk say, me don't come on a jail. Now this all they don't do me, but it get for stop mm. so that the country go go before. Mm. So the tit for that and this idea are now we turn this. Now be they don't turn down the we back now we don't turn this. If this not end, it's a problem. Where where uh, the press president Bio go na SLPP office, we see a lot of SLPP supporters. They were angry when I seen the clips they wouldn't go out. You know why they been angry? They say the president not sack people like it enough enough so that they say go get job because they say when they become trading, so they be sack them and so they be sack people. Like. So at a point in time, we get for ask yourself, and after 20 years of independence, we get for ask yourself, say, now nah, is this the system we need to uphold or we need for change the frame? So the issue of Tonangi politics, now, yeah. now who that we think is responsible? Is it the president, then where don't they come, or the people, then where they work in different institutions, then, or the advisor, then working it to the president? Then because if you're not a head of state, you want to take certain decision, yes, you can consult, but at the end of the day, now you get the final say. You know, we don't create a system where people and keep what they call the entitled and they are grieved. You, depending on the system, some people can feel entitled. And when that system change, they become aggrieved. Because they know they get again that maybe that center stage or that access where they get. So it's not about president or people, it's the system we'll get. And the salon, pass we look at this system we'll get, it fit Mende man, it fit Timni man, it fit Creo man. Until and unless perhaps you right away they talk about leadership because every change where they happen now leadership now go talk say you know it's in this direction here now ain't fine for lot take people um, and for let for let change happen. All right, um I will come to Valnora, I will come to you, um Joe later. But I'll come to Valnora on the same tit for tat politics and waiting them be they do versus waiting they are for do. I mean, sorry, what would they call the the um Alassane Kanu and Emmanuel Gaima's example where Mr. Lavalli starts. But let we look at institutions also we can be headed by politicians. Me, like Natcom, for example. I remember the former um, chairman. We see a huge cry of, from the SLPP say, um, Nabi, party person. But we see when SLPP come, another, you know, senior party person, then the chairman, not the, um, um, not the same not come but in the in the past they be condemned that actually and also the different sack them we go name names of names now yeah? plenty of people when they sack um during when apc take over and now slpp self the one when we go stop when the line could be drawn and they accept say indeed they want that they be sack we self don't sack but we need for stop now so we get a serenian problem and me know they ever degenerates then concerns they are to an slpp or an APC discussion. Mm. And when we continue for do that, we know whoever come off from this web who mm. don't create for WeSef. Mm -hmm. We have a very serious union problem and I just they look at the um, recommendations them of the CRC um, committee where one of the team them in section 4.10 we say for ad patriotism because now that just not there. We they find out say when people then go into the political framework of political parties, it they appear like they are there just for themselves and their cronies mm. rather than for me and you and for generations to come. 
it appears they don't seem for understand say when that election the, the political party not just the framework through which like democracy they call where people then can able for make a choice that oh I don't hear C for C, I don't hear APC, I don't hear SLPP, I don't hear Unity and all the other parties. Based on waiting and say, I don't see say this one now you really go meet me aspirations as a citizen of Sierra Leone. And when you can't sit down, you win the election at the executive level. Your responsibility now for take care of everybody. Your, your allegiance is not to your political party. But one of the challenges they will get to, to democracy 20 years on, the kingmakers them, then self one be part of the mainstream politics. Mm -hmm. And I make a say, Kintalek, you don't know if we really they understand them process. In more advanced democracies, the kingmakers and then at the back. Sometimes you don't even know them. They know they come forward for say, we say I don't support you, I give you money, now me go talk to them, you people them, now maybe make so you win. Me, you they make me minister of defense. You they put me in here, which is what we are having. The kingmakers usually then at the back and continue for push for make sure say, good strong policies there are enforced. But because we they get kingmakers them, the way they with the person, we win the election, then they come and begin say, well, where I don't win, so I've been there behind you, look at me, they cost you, they know me want you. So once you don't, where you day, you forgive me this position. That is why we are having that. And sometimes we can feel, say, really, that person where you don't as head of state, get all that authority. I don't think, say, that they can be the case. Like I say, the kingmakers, the people them, where they are in party, in even advanced democracies, they can be mm. even more powerful than they are, because now then they dictate the pace. So now the challenge that we get. Adam, all right, Madam Edwin, we will come back to you. Let's just come now over to Jabas Bangura. Yusef, we they ask the same question to you. The issue of tit for tat, tonangi politics, where we don't see the upon at the country for the past 20 years now. When you think, say, we forgot the line for stop them? So first of all, I want to tell you what I think, um, for just add to it to my colleagues, then I'll say, in terms of putting at the root cause, um, so I said, this is something I've, I've said some, sometime in the past year. Scarcity and inequality always been on the way to me. That means, say, from where they're born we, things not always do. You get more people than things where they fall go around, than space, than food, than everything. The root cause is scarcity. And because everybody wants to forget things where not their house, not their land, not their own place, not their own work, not their own um, and job, it, it, it drive scarcity, they drive self-interest. For make everybody wake up every day and say, how do I secure my own position? It starts with scarcity, self-interest jump in. And a self-interest now in jump na politics, we make politics stand like I so, so if you don't deal with this issue of self-interest, you can never deal with it. What do you mean? For example, now that, okay, I don't wake in the morning, I want a job. And the only way they will forget this job, six other person that wants this job here. So first of all, the first two are they do now for leverage and outer, the first outer alliance will get some family. Do I have any family members who connect with somebody who connect to where I can use for to get this job? So I'm spreading my alliance, so I'm building my family alliance, but not for me self-interest at the end of the day. So I tag along any two of these family members here. So the, so you get the job, we not get them. So the the team big. When it's bigger than family, ethnicity they come in. So who that in a tribe we because it's about competition for this chaos resource. All right, but Joel, the tit for tat politics, it actually they happen. It, it, it happen, of course. It happen. It happen. And I'm on for tenor council. It happen. I'm telling you, telling within the cousin. Okay. It's because it's coming from self interest. Everybody. And and by the time we end this program, my own role, I, I'm not just here as a, as a motivational leader, but I'm also here in my capacity as a, as a, as a, as a, as a minister of the gospel, as, as a pastor, for able to say, it's down to it. Because you know what? When, when you not get your family coming, then it is ethnicity. Now, use people, they use politics, then they use ethnicity, then they use anything then they use now for their own self-interest at the end of the day. So when you go up on politics, I agree with Valona 150%. This is not to APC business, so not to SAPB business. Law go 1959, or Ustern ever then formed this party. Law go change their name. Law give them C4C, Law give them NGC. We would have been here 2019, and the same would have been happening. Because it's not about the name of the party. And well, I mean, the people that they make the it's party. It's we. It's yes, now the people. So now we. So what's me wrong if the if the president become say no law wait for let the country just be and, peace, and, 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 be peaceful and, and, and go on for the, the voice not being sound around the table now. Say everything then the president be all in court. Like Mandela jump na power, he sit on the seat, then punish and then do all kind thing. He said, we go to state house first of all. The wait man then pack pack them box for go watch invictors. He said, I give everybody the opportunity for making their own choice. If you want to work with me, I'll do with you. 
but I will not ask anybody for leave the state house. Right. But here, the self-interest, because when, when we can have power now, we want to know, okay, it's about the next election. So let, how do we protect ourselves? Okay, let's clean around, we make sure say, we are sure of everybody where they around we, bam. And that's where the problem begins and where they lead to all of the things. So politics is used by people for their own self-interest. And I want to prove it by the time we end this program. That is all about self-interest. All right, 7.57 at the time from the studio clock. We get with studio guests them. We get Andrew um, Lavali, Joe Abbas Bangua, and Valnoa Edwin. Um, and they come to you, Andrew. Many a time would they get guests them, would they talk about topic or different things, the issues them. Two institutions, they will always they come come out um, strong. One are the salon police, mm. two and three, um, the judiciary and also parliament. Now for parliament, before now, we I mean we'll get background meeting before we do this program. I understand say the clerk of parliament, for example, before two thousand and seven, nine clerk. Um, na, na, a retired civil servant will not be politician per se. But we see a change inside President Koma in time for choose politician as clerk of parliament. And so we see the same thing happen in the SLPP. So now what you go get for happen when they go, for example, like the chaos working most times being a parliament? How will change this for say? You know, um, <laughs> Uh, again, I agree with um, Val and uh, Joe Abbas. You know, extensively, beyond the institutions in there, um, where you watch, like for example, the NATCOM, at the Council of Parliament, the NATCOM thing will be the talk about, where you say the uh, politicization of institutions. If we, we just see forensic audit reports, we look at NATCOM, for example, because the way politics is financed and where they take politicians and put them in a position, Salon, you be man, you be team the man, then go fleece you. You know the benefit. You be Creole, you be it doesn't matter whether that Creole president or Mende president. You, you know the benefit. So now that make all of this thing how they talk about tit or tat ethnicity in not the, in the interest of the average Sierra Leonean. The interest of the average Sierra Leonean are for let institutions they work. And now that bring me to parliament. Mm. Parliament nine for oversee all waiting government they do. If somebody want no one for be accountable, waiting you would need. Now for let parliament weak because the parliament will go account to her. And one of the ways where parliament you go make the parliament weak, now where they do appointments so that all the, the people that within a parliament where they work there, then go be loyal to you. So they not go question you. Pa Kabab in C say um the constitution give them powers for their appoint. Of course, both President Bill and uh, President Julius Mother Bill. They not do wrong for toxin and they appoint clerk because the constitution empower them for appoint clerk. But because the clerk for be neutral, the clerk now for make sure say as a VPC, as a VSLPP in a neutral way and the agenda will they set and, and the scope will they give to the party there in neutral. So now that make as per tradition, na civil servant, in fact, they are not retired. You get carpenter within the day after carpenter, you get Victor Kamara. The after Victor Kamara now. Now they will begin to get appoint politicians. And if me appoint me, then a party appoint me party as clerk. That clerk they go work for me. Uh, okay, I be mean the speaker, <laughs> then then I retired judge yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, the speaker. Yeah, the speaker. Yeah, the, speaker. Yeah, the, speaker. the same thing we do that now the same changes. I remember Valnora they be the gold and they protest. In fact, we the fact, over fact, in fact, way they protest say the fact then you civil society and they say you know that party mm -hmm. and the opposition I the support. Just because parliament should not be positioned for ask questions. Yeah, so I think saying that that. <laughs> well, um, we will come back to now. We will make some money. Eight o'clock now. The time for the studio clock. Salon Commercial Bank don't come with new banking products them for make life easy. With Mion Online Bank and Mion Mobile App, you can able for use Salon Link money transfer for send money to anybody in like you not get bank account. Transfer or receive money na the same bank or any other bank. Transfer money to person or office in like you not get your account number. Buy extra light. Pay other bill them and now get advanced salary. You no need for worry again but almost money then you earn. Because you can able for pay for thing the way you buy in a supermarket and other shop them with the quick response code payment. 
Yagbadon done for me boss man them. With Vion Online Direct, you can upload salary, pay all your supplier them, sell Forex to Salon Commercial Bank, and watch your account anytime. If you need the app, download them from Google Play Store or any Apple Store or go on Salon Commercial Bank website www.slcb.com. Sierra Leone Commercial Bank, delivering God. You win an innovator, we want to bring change. You get passion and zeal for do something. Any star you there, we don't look for you because you term don't come. Salon Cable Limited believe the Tenkwe technology and innovation get for make business and economy grow and sign up Tenga one for development we go come with money and sell cap the launch for the first time then tech startup challenge. For you we want to be part of this program, now for send you business idea and team demo you sabi make for tap the problem them inside book learning, well body business, agriculture and energy. Send your application to startup at salcap.sl and member say May 15 na the deadline for all application. For no more, call 079-923-524. The number again is 079-923-524. Salcap, connecting innovators to endless opportunities. The program Good Morning Salon, they continue and don't forget today we they ask the question after over 20 years of multi-party democracy, if Salon don't go before or they go behind. And when I know say we don't, they talk to the studio guests, they they follow the conversation na Facebook and safe na we YouTube page. And they come over to Madam Edwin now and they ask him the same question we get for do with Parliament where they look at for example now. A better use for be retired judge, they be the Speaker of Parliament, the clerk, they be a civil servant. But we will see this don't take a change where now people were active in politics, don't they hold them position here. What do you mean for the country? It not mean very well at all, because what we see where the last government may they do extensively, and unfortunately it seems for the rub off in this government, na state capture, where, in fact, what do they see when a, a political party win the executive, everything get for shroud around the political party. Will not they get a government? way for encompass various people, professionals. Yes, you will get the areas then where the politician then go come. Where they see say the party they dominate every side. And even where you they talk about what is happening to the judiciary or the police and other institutions they were supposed to be independent, then they get a rub off of this party influence. Job security, cronyism, sycophancy, liberalism, and these are things we don't they talk over time. So what we see, we are here in this very radio democracy. And I think some of them say, on a need for the player. Let people then see, say, we, we made a noise about these things. And the unfortunate thing, we they see the same thing, they continue for happen. The, the APC MP then, I then start up with that, that this issue of having a retired judge not helpful. How the judge them, especially the particular speaker we've been there at that time, um, um, Justice Abel Strong, you know, respect them. If they talk so, you know, waiting save them. We tell them you can't do that. You need for make sure say that position they remain independent. You need somebody where it don't rise above board. You know, get no stake. You don't make a name. You don't need nothing, and you know, go tarnishing character. Now then push for that. The other party agree. Then then self me make make say they all agree. Then then change her. So we then can say John Permain to win a John Rest. Then we they see so exactly. What we get for land? One deficit we get. 20 years on, we don't get good leadership. And if you look at um, the theories the way they transcend peace university they promote, they get peace-based leadership. Where they show you what a good leader, what he's supposed for they do, how they think, how they reason. Because decisions where you make where you see them as a leader, it get for go beyond that you leadership day. And people that in politics always get for members say, Eleka, you did it, you get for going to opposition. Even in countries like Botswana or Gabon, where they say one party don't rule for so long. But even in U.S., you don't have the president, then they change you. You get for retire, you get for be ex-president. So the decisions you make, and it's not just about the presidency, wherever you sit as a leader, you get for members, say, you get for comment day. And if you don't make good laws, good um, relationship, you don't think outside the box, when you left, some of them, the wrong decision the way you make, get for can haunt you. And at the end, they will say now. All right, Valona Edwin, we will come back to you. Over to you, Jabba Spangra. Waiting at you on take on this parliament. 
we be don't get retired judge we be the speaker of parliament clerk we the civil servants now we see a change now people we active in politics they get in position and they waiting in me reinforcing what has been said it was a very okay i, I know they are making system of government they are making system of government mm -hmm. now then now then the votes now from the mm -hmm. members of parliament now then the vote then congress now then they vote for make them forget a speaker of parliament so mm -hmm. then get other checks and balances we then exactly. get inside the system where they're exactly. able for all things intention but the moment you get a speaker when uh, uh, now the political party um, put that speaker they day nine chances out of ten waiting they come now the floor is influenced by that speaker, mm -hmm. and and you know all the confusion in terms of who that vote, who that vote, who stem for call by raise of hands and show of hands and and then count and and by ballot and who swan if or do by voice acclamation and all the mix up. And if you had an an, an independent person with did it, it helps. You, that's why you know to take referee and make a player. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't work because it's it's natural to human beings that if if i get any alliance with anybody that's why it's about conflict of interest if i get any alliance i am push any human being that's big temptation to put the person for put another position there we shouldn't allow and so now the systems there and i agree with you 100 percent when you make bad law because now you did it if that law they turn back for, for comfort you 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 know you would regret but so don't make law because now you sit on this you don't make law because you got somebody in your mind we are ability to make those laws. It was, it's something I think we have to be bold enough if we have to do it in the Constitution. Let's do it in the Constitution. But if you want to be able to make sure five years from now, we know the face continuous tension, we have to be able to make sure we get then, then things then within our society where they hold the tension together, hold everybody together, so, so that when we self interest and conflict, now the rule of law, then things that we don't set, now really they be the referee for it. Now I can't give like salon, also I as possible open mouth so people don't attach you say you the party A, party B. We still get people we go occupy set um, short time position. We're not attached to any political party. We go influence in work at the end of the day. Radio democracy in existence one now evidence say it's possible. And so, as my salute you for this program today, it's an opportunity for bringing strange voices. If, if I was a cabinet minister, I would, be, I would not have the flexibility for say a lot of things for for say. My voice no longer matter, my thoughts no longer matter. You go in a parliament, now you party in voice. You your personal voice, not like they're making system where you can vote against your party. Mm. It doesn't matter. But we, we don't lose individual voice. So I'm saying it's possible. My own point okay. in our studio is to be able to say, yes, it's possible, let's build them. And make, maybe from this program today, Let's let's rally wherever they are. I mean, you talk to Safa Abdullah, Mina Northana, let's spend this out as then young people. Now we turn this, let's come together and prove say it can be done. Let's challenge with elders them. Right. We think say it's not possible. Let's prove to them it's possible. Okay, Adikam, another issue we um I don't need to think about now the issue of statesman. Mm -hmm. Somebody will go able for be um the Desmond Tutu of South Africa. Sierra Leone actually gets a statesman we go able for call president come out today he say like for example i want you for go another conference go there with all the things that happen now go there or the possible for call president be today say come go meet with president koma we get that statesman or statewoman day now this country now vanora well me honestly the one person we come to mind as you ask the question is former vice president solomon berewa okay after he retired, I see he don't stand above board. He said the truth in the interest of the country. And like I mentioned, this lack of patriotism, I really don't unbug we all. And me get a challenge when they can try for divide this country again into APC and SLPP. Like me, we see don't I am. My parents, they know the APC, they know the SLPP, I know they, 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 they exist, but they exist outside what I do. Right. So we get for stop for divide this country into APC and SLPP, and even for those who belong to these entities. There is a time where the country interests therefore rise above that party interest day. And I think um, former Vice President Berwa don't stand up on one or two occasions where mm. he don't come, up, come out and say waiting at the right thing we're supposed for happen. Joe Abbas, we get the statesman. We offend them. But tell you, apparently for, for part of this back and forth, talk to vi former Vice President Berwa. Now, Pakaba go take him now in O's for Cam. You know, so it go back to don't just go beyond when when pa Pakaba and Berry in a stadium. So Mumbai one say, if Pakaba not to be statesman, not to be real Democrat, he would have been president in place of of um, Anis Bakoma because there were several opportunities for making for just jump in and just cut through everything. Pakaba steps aside. So do we have them now? If then they, they then stand out. 
Let them, and that's what I'm saying. But into a real sense, you don't think say that will get that possibility? It, it, I, I don't sure know. They they, 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 we're not they see them. We're not they see them. But what you want to be like, you they say it's very important. Somebody has to pick a phone call. Mm -hmm. Call President Bio. Call um, um Anis Baikuma. The two of them must be talking. They should be talking. All right. And I mean, they ask you, maybe they say from the last three months. They say for the last three months, okay. and everyone talk to themselves. But and they come. I will catch about the whole way President Koma suppose or in the capacity as former president for the planner but lack like, answer you on the same statement we get a post in a salon right now we we na statesman you know statesmanship na possibly get informal powers okay in, in in power no right any side but people they know say get power if and they respect. talk to you mm -hmm. and respect, respect yeah. if you talk to you you know obey them there will be consequences sometimes people they know they give you legitimacy again say you they are no more that position but only respect you again so and then they you know they can because they, they need to just cancel no more people then get for struggle for be statesman you get for stand for certain values over time they say that man they will not say you not know, the ban desmond tutu it took the true boku 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 ten. but if you na if you na pastor you na imam you make racketeer and forget your land then you go na ministry of lands when I, when I go make some racketeer nobody will consider you a statesman because you need know, to talk the truth if you just file a collection in a church, nobody knows as a statesman. In the context of of austerity and crisis, the term, the people away their voices and they stand, and they can be statesman. And it not can be age, it not can be age. It can be somebody who young, but they talk to so, this. So so we not get the, the point. Uh, that the statesman yeah, yeah. At we, uh, we 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 get the potential for getting boku. So, we'll it get means, book. so it means we really know get we mean, because when you think of mm. uh, let's say when you really say okay now this you know the interreligious yeah, council you know. the interreligious council uh, this is they don't begin to call bearer the interreligious council we don't work with it extensively you get people and with their voice uh, people they can listen to so but, but other uh, thoughts they say the religious leaders um they are part of the problem and um, yeah. they see they they into more politics than ever yes yes and and statesmanship really now how you do sacrifice so that means you say, that that means sacrifice your comfort for society so that means so you we, we they encourage them we they encourage them you get for sacrifice your comfort All because right. if the head of muslims talk now it's almost 70 percent of australian don't talk okay so you get for sacrifice your comfort so that means say the country they struggle for a statesman so now you know we cancel the role of former presidents in any country I mean, Salon Lucky now forgets um, former President Goma with their life in, um, and then another president then office. Waiting at a role, you know, matter idea, PCPP, the APC, waiting, don't do, waiting, not be, don't do. But waiting at the role of a former president in a democratic situation. I'll start with you, Valnora. I think seeing a day the, the point about being a statesman mm. or woman in mm. fact starts mm -hmm. because you need for the, as a head of state you need for rise above your political party affiliation above ethnicity and, and regional biases where we they see a lot within the African um, context and Sierra Leone in particular. Now they need for start where when there is a situation now you voice, now you for able for pick up that phone, for call the head of state, or for call the religious people them and say, you know, we seem they for the slide into a crisis, we're not helpful. You can even share your own experience and you're able for encourage them, say, um, we not get for go down this road. This is the Sierra Leone we want. This is the path we need to go. You might be in another political party, but I think say some of them discussions, some of them processes, some of them here not healthy. But if, again, it just depends on what sort of relationship people then build over time. You don't show level of honesty even where you deserve as a president. And as colleagues, they say, you don't command that level of respect yourself as a person, even whilst you are serving the presidency, where the only reason for the way people let me go, they listen to you going forward now just because you're not the president. But where you left, all man begins saying, hey, better way, come on, look what TB they do. So you have to wear all of that, but a former head of state really get for be one of the group of people that we for identify as a states person. Right. Right. We we will take this commercial break <laughs> quickly and come over to we other still get them for answer the same question. Let me just quickly take the commercial break. Better don't come, better don't come. A union trust bank. Union Salon Banco Union Trust Bank get plenty products and services there for you. You 
must get wet in you and say go better. Let we save it, Saka, Ide. Current Saka, Ide. Fix deposit, Saka, Ide. Credit facility, Ide. All for you. The program Good Morning Salon, they continue, and before we be take that commercial break, they, uh, Madam Edwin be the talk, but in your analysis, we be the gi on statesmanship na salon, and from your analysis, where you gi, we all know say we former President Kroma be the na power, na person where he talk, plenty people be there after waiting he say, and then be the do waiting he want. From your analysis, where you gi, a right for let we put President Kroma in a position as a statesman na salon, where we go expect say, all waiting they happen, so I go we we'll pick up in phone, call President Bill and say this and these people they complain. Waiting they happen at the country. I think there are two responses to that. One, at some point, I, I believe say he had a good relationship with um, President Bill, and I think he need for capitalize on that. For le, if there are things that are ongoing, he able for talk to him, um, advice, and because of that relationship, they obviously we might expect President Bill for listen. Um, on the flip side of that, instead of caught within a web of some of the challenges the way they happen, um, within the Commission of Inquiry, we all they look at some of the decisions the way the past government make when I mean they are the helm of things. So you go really want question whether it they in that position for let he able for come in. But I think say what he need for do because of him past relationship, and I should say instead of CSA, Things really not they go right, and I should say President Bill in self say a lot of things not they go right. Even if he day within the web, speaking the truth about what the challenges are and waiting, we need for do as a country for move forward. In fact, now that they make you a state person. So even if you get all the challenge, but you come out with the truth and say yes, me, I not mm. say myself contribute to this. But I think this is A, B, and C that we can do for resolve this situation. I think that would, would recognize you as a state person. All right, um, to over to you, Joe. The whole way from our president's um, coma for the play now, um, well, taken from the queue of Valnora going up to being a statesman. Lucky him, he they are alive, why is another president's day? So which role if for play? It's a difficult one. You say you look at two roles, the role way for play and the role way them for allow for play. <clears throat> okay. It's a tough one. Um, how do you uh, make party with person? Then you, uh, there's an accountability process where they go on with the accountability process. Don't maybe don't make some judgments already. Um, we you know legally they don't pass bad dictate on those things, but you know the venom. If you look at social media, all the things so then they say. And imagine now you know President Kuma, you see they wearing suits, well you didn't make any wear by they now, and and they see them things. Then they it's so judgments has have already been passed. So. Um, it's, it's a tough one, but like I said, Asma, I salute you for doing this program today. It's, it's your responsibility to talk to them too, President Bill and, and President Anis Baikuma, former president, to say, we can still take the country forward. Who mm -hmm. that them for all accountable? Let me get a system with the old people accountable. Now, when you do that in leadership, it saves even President Bill would be saved now because I, I mean, but not somebody like pressures where people them when are in the kingmakers then they put by you when are the decision now in the drive with you they do, but your ability for everyone know say there is an accountability system now in place in this country where they make sure say five years from now ten years from now then they open up then things here and now me go get that bad name the president bio is instituted is empowered is now able to say no, somebody then at this office we keep them people here, and five years from now they go pull them people then and so. 
part of what the good thing would happen in this country, when accountability rises up, you are even protected. Even if you found out where they can tell them for do this, you tell the Commission of Inquiry paper again. You say, read now, read page 15. The person will be there, the minister, the seat, now this, so, then they accuse them for. Right. You are emboldened, you are empowered for able to do that. So, but it's something where they, they should have both have the courage. Okay. It's tough, it's difficult for President Bill and President Kuma for able for take phone, talk to themselves. Accountability can go on with making sure this nation is put on a sound footing for the future. Mm -hmm. So that 10 years from now, we'll talk about the next term, um, you know, 30 years of democracy, we would only, as a country, multi party democracy, we would be so proud of yourself. That's why I said, I love you really for, for doing this, this program. You, you said that all two get the responsibility for do this, but Osai go start. Oda force mm -hmm. for start. Oda <laughs> for do waiting. Uh, again, let me tell you, uh, there's a story in the Bible mm -hmm. about Abraham and um, a and, 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 and nephew. Then they go on a journey. Abraham take and go. Then they go on this part to plow of come out between him work man them and 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 his nephew work man them. So Abraham na na been a big person. Na na been a big one. And he said it could have been um, Genesis 13. And he said he said a big for you. Long no make plow You na me fan bowling picking. What are they allow you to like pick? Now so maturity again you know by you know by age. Now the person where they get the courage mm -hmm. for move first in spite of the fact that. Um, maybe you say, I, get, I suppose forget a higher ground. But in spite of my higher ground, I move, go meet you, and call, and say, for the peace of this nation. You would put it, Mr. Bear, in story. I interviewed him before the elections. And when he, all the thing he did, 15 minutes after, 30 minutes after they announced, an election where they may not tell and say they win. 30 minutes after they announced, now in picking phone call, he called President Koma. For congratulator, you know, even consulting party. I asked him in the interview, why didn't you consult your party? He said, What if they say no? What would I do? It's statesman, par excellence. So I salute Paberewa. So they listen to the show and, and you get to, to pack me around. But it's, it's to say, Salute, we have more, it's possible. All right. The person where they take the first step, now in the matured person, and, and it has to be courage, serious courage, not by age at all, okay. but it has to be done for the good of the nation. Over to you, yes. um. Uh, uh, the which you talk about a column, which you they talk about a column being an adult in the room. Somebody get for being an adult. President Kuruma, former President Kuruma, he old past President Bio. He don't serve as president. Um, they also get responsibility, but actually one person need for act. But which in, you talk about whether President Kuruma a statesman, and this question they really go to President Bio. The way we would measure President Bio as statesman, we don't left. Now how much? <laughs> McKinney get for appreciator, how much Potlocko get for appreciator, not to how much Kenima they dance for him. President Bio, Kuruma, if he popular, let go Kenima. Let go Bo. So when they say statesmanship, now how people of all classes, they, they say, you know that man, if I cry, it doesn't matter. He go listen to me cry. And we then governance, that's what you do. And if a minister can be statesman, mm -hmm. if he did today, you go wrap wrap your vehicle with wait and say for lawlessness. You go wrap your vehicle with black number plate. Black number plate. Mm. What is the show? To so that picking with the in a high school. So you if if you really know say your party don't do bad, then you can bold face you the talk say no, you don't do bad. So you condone for falsehood because it don't be saying out uh, politics as if uh, we don't talk we don't talk true. You know to a politician. When you do bad, you admit to talk. Say, I really I make mistake. I should have done it better. You're not a politician, but now where they make bold face lie. In fact, the spin them. So statesmanship, it, it's a constant daily decision for let you do them. So uh, me, we then comments and they ask man. Mm. I think so. We we'll go refer to them. Let them know if um, you know statesman or not. Me, me expect say right. the kind of experience that President Kuruma gets, if or they add a lot of value. To the governance of Sierra Leone. The space they All waiting. No, no. All, all waiting. The space no, 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 no. I ask my, let me say this. Where you they be president, all the things, somebody bang me now. If President Bill can bang me now, uh, with in vehicle, I know you will see him because you know he's you president. But after office, I go hold on to account for that. You for always know that. The after mm. office, then they hold you to account for that. So you get for be careful. In fact, I make the constitution they call and tenure. You, mm -hmm. it just lent you and you hold them not till you get country. Oh. You understand that? Eh? So whether I think say there is an argument that um, they know they give uh, President Bill, uh, Kuruma, uh, former President Kuruma space. space. Okay. But waiting for my President Kuruma they do. Imagine if Bera been doing. Say me, even though me time done done, I they still go make sure they are popular. 
you know for govern you know you know for so wait the uh, wait president former president koma they do now we better one not do ah uh, better no one they retreat na bo or na in village if a day i they support them a day i they advise them in fact berwa he solved beaucoup problems between slpp and apc so me we believe say president kuruma it easy for let become a statesman because if most of the thing in there if you just drop and down in fact all of this commission most of, of inquiry mo, it, it, all of this commission of inquiry will just drop I, because I a lot of people and so magnanimous they're so forgiving so there, there is a call on both sides. There is a call on waiting President Bill for do. There is a call on waiting uh, how the former president back. And, mm. and there's this complication about your ability for be a politician and a statesman. It's a okay. tight balance. You, it's difficult for be a very successful politician in the way we, we define them and still be a statesman because uh, you know the requirements are different. Mm. Um, like this professor say, for be a politician, now aim for win the next election. But to be a statesman, you aim for win the next generation. And there are times where you they lost elections. You don't mind for lost the election so that you can win the next generation. So it's a it's really a very, very tight balance. All right. Well, um you want me to comment I, think one one. Okay. I, I don't think say the location of the former president get for affect in ability for being a state person. I mm. think anybody can see on any side. You can even the outside the country, but if you get a hat and rise above all the funny things there, you can still contribute and, and, and serve. And I think the Commission of Inquiry, quickly again, will they be little uh, like an APC and SLPP thing? Mm -hmm. It's about strengthening the public service. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding, waiting at the dynamics, waiting at the gap, how um, um, offices could be abused, authorities could be abused. And I think we get for learn from waiting the commot day for let we inform this current system and moving systems forward. Can, it's can not I, about can APC you, and SLPP. Can you give Michael Fumaka's one one question? Okay. <laughs> no. So, Fumaka has one question. How, how does President Koma, in continuing active role where they play in the political party, affect in ability for, for act as a real statesman? And how would that affect SLPP, the ability for gain space? Because now, I'm a competitor, they can't give space. Active competitor, still active, uh, still being involved mm. in the party. You know. No, How I think it's affect? about the majority. Let me say the majority about with politics. Right. Because if the, the parties then they their interest are about Sierra Leone. So even if you day in the opposition, you the lead a party, oh. now you be done there before. There is nothing wrong with you coming to say, I have learned from that mistake I made. I see you making the same mistake. Let's right. work together <laughs> to correct it. All right, we go come back to now. The issue about hate now, the way how people at one any small thing, I mean, program self they do. You read it, but now for jail all. No, now for mix so. And the other people where they, in, 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 in the middle, where they for talk for the people in our CSOs, we see they yes, all don't yeah. divide. We can't talk more than they, but let we go to other issue. <laughs> Same on President Koma and the whole way for playing at the country. Maybe. All right, well, um, inside 2007, um, and it's by Koma under the All People's Congress, APC party been win the presidential election and self continue inside the 2012 elections. We been be in second term in our office. Former President Anes Koma, now be also chairman and leader na in party. Inside the 2018 general election, former President Koma be say three months after the elections done, he go tap all politics business and retire. One year after this election, Usai Dr. Samoa Kamara lost to President Julius Madabio, former President Koma, continue for be chairman and leader for the APC. What this mean for the country in democracy? Michael Sambola gets more and go now reports. APC constitution not say if we go after an election. No. The constitution say it get three years. Because nine talk and nine people let me decide that. Nine talk and but National Advisory Committee take a decision say let it continue. Whether are the look at the way President Koma they try for continue forget the whole of the APC. Now only the future he may be looking at. Listen at the future. That is for Ron again to be president of Sierra Leone. As the National Secretary General for the APC party, Ambassador Usman Fode and Sane they say now the highest decision making body na the party asks former President Koma for continue as chairman and leader after in term na office as president done. Self by all in three months after the election promise. The leader of government business, Honorable C.D. Tunis, they say, Pan always in things say President Koma, na the main opposition leader na Salon now. He still thinks he gets plan for comeback 
and Timapas president. This come after one concern with political analysts them, don't they make, but the role with former president them can get for bring country together, especially in a transition period. So make we start with the leader of government business in parliament, Honorable Sidi Mohamed Tunis. President Kumar, for don't be a statesman, where issues and calm, all man go to Ram for advice and things like that. But as I speak to you, as far as I am concerned, President Kuma is the opposition leader of Sierra Leone. He's responsible for everything that is happening in the APC at the moment. Now they get the directives. So how is it not the chain where they use? Now, yes, I they use. Simple as that. Look, the same APC from 2007 with uh, President Kuma, Mikhailo Masare, Ian Sane, these are the people who run, they run the show. And that is the unfortunate part about our democracy right now. President Kumami and I don't disagree on several issues. The APC Secretary is an independent institution. Now we are in charge of a party at all levels. If you are a member of parliament, you are a member of the APC, answerable to the Secretariat. President Kuromana, leader of the party, he is the political head of the APC. I am the administrative head of the APC. The constitution of the APC is very clear. SLPP, what you make Bakabano continue? Because Bakabano to be leader of the SLPP. It is the ordinary people who said, no go it. Because we are confronted by a very uncaring government we want for destroy the party. You've been listening to Ambassador Usman Fode Yansane, now the National Sexy General for the APC party. But the Honorable Leader for Government Business na Parliament say, where the member of parliament them, they under the party secretariat, and they control what they for do. All them were like in the inside. If only they before left the MPs and for do what they ask the electorate them, elect them for do now this parliament here. Trust me, everything will be okay now this parliament. When I they look at the way President Koma they go within politics, now only the future he may be looking at. What's in the future? That is for Ron again to be president of Sierra Leone. They play a lot of dishonesty here because not anybody before Sam may not be there on that gun point, not be there on a knife point. They very day for elections. It talks say in gains three months. Then after that, it go retire from active politics and go sit down. It present the pictures that say that something will be done frame, it be done work on. It don't already put the strategies in place. So for let it come back. After the three months where it gains an overlap, even just a common member under the party raise and voice, you know, at a, a disrespect to this nation because I will form a president. You've been the listening to Abdul Fatoma, the chief executive, campaign for human rights and development international, Chadi. Plenty political analysts them, where they look the political situation as Salon don't say, because former president Koma, they make difference now some people their life with the kind couple where it gives some where some man on one day see it and safe some people where they enjoy overseas trip to the former president make them people here still loyal to the former president and believe saying that that's not the former president in Truncard now but remember where the leader of government business talk say it look like former president Kouma in action look the point back to the presidency with the 1991 constitution, no look talk about. So make we join the APC National Secretary General again. The fact is President Kouma believe in this constitution. The constitution say two terms, whether concurrent or not. He don't obey down the, he don't retire. But he deserves his own respect. As soon as he gets that, he will recede to the back burner. We can assure of that. But what is wrong? If it is interpreted that after this time he could come back, what is wrong about that? I mean, if that is their own interpretation, but we own interpretation, two times he has served and he has ended and that over power. Plenty of opposition people, plenty of always concerned say President Julius Madabio and in government look the one after former President Koma for put on a tight place. When President Bio took over office, he and President Koma, they don't talk at least two or three times 
The last time with President Kuma with the travel out of this country, he called President Bio. He tell and say he did travel out of the country. The, the two of them discussed him and he had all the protocols and everything accorded to him. He traveled out of the country. But guess what? When President Kuma left the country, he go complain, say President Bio went for arrest him. I mean, how can you do that to a friend? They want for arrest them. Maybe because now the, now, now the feeling people that really communicate but, to them. But did he call President Bill? Now, other heads of states in the sub region, now they ask President Bill. President Bill said, I don't know about that. Then, to the meet, even believe, say, with that, they go work together. But President Kuma say, anytime he go there, if he complain about the way how they treat the soldier man that way we day to run, the policeman that way day to run, they say, he will say, I will take action. IG will call you. IG will not call. These are issues where President Goma said, as former head of state, if you say the current president being forgiven, the respect and uh, uh, address some of the issues there. As some people, they argue, say, President Goma, for don't they out now and give other people a chance so that other political leaders them will respect them. But now, because they think say the old inside politics respects no day. Other people they say the former president still popular na the party and the kind way how the party been divided after the election. Na the only policy we get the trend for build the party again and bring the member them together for the society for radio democracy. Michael Sambola. All right, well, um, the time from our studio clock this morning at 8.38. What a shock yesterday, Usai, Liverpool win 4 nuts. This is not indeed a miracle we happy yesterday. Although I understand saying I still game, but I still game. But congratulations <laughs> to all the ones that support Liverpool. As we see the amount of flooding on social media yesterday, as people they celebrate, even though I support them because of me, one and only Salah. Well, even though you not play, but congratulations to Liverpool. We continue the program. I know say Joe one for excitedly talk, but relax and enjoy this music as himself. I think support Liverpool yesterday. Well, I support the anyway. All right, no, okay. Yes, <laughs> All right. Well, let's take this music. We'll come back. <laughs> Song day by Lady Philly inside the Lady Felicia inside the program Good Morning Salon. Um, Salon are we on? And we get for all um, as one inside the program Good Morning Salon. Well, um, live work about this morning with the big and call on China aid, even though they, they do very brilliant work around the region's area. Four hours na traffic for go, four hours na morning for come. It's really tough. We will advise that same book na net for ease the traffic. Because no bypass, no day, pastor one day. Again, President Koma, 
President Bill, you have to pay attention to the Lands Ministry. Lots and lots and lots of complaints where we get from the Ministry of Lands. We continue with the program and the with studio guests they will cancel about the issue within the Lands Ministry. All right, thank you, thank you Mama Wakabo. <laughs> <laughs> but, but All right, now we, we they continue for a look at the topic where we get today. We now after 20 years of multi-party democracy, if Salon they go before or they go behind. We don't look at different sectors of them. We don't talk about different things them. We get for do with the same topic. Let we look at now the civil society space. We, we believe the civil society for the people, we for the advocates, for the betterment of everybody. We see how the civil society be vibrant during the term of former President Koroma. But now plenty of people only complain again, say, even the civil society themselves, people belong to a political party, where they make some of them not able to talk now, where certain things happen, where the public wants to let them talk about. What do they mean for let civil society them begin bend to political party instead of putting the interest of the people before? And it starts with you. And it started to Angola Valley because you know civil society activist make you, you, you know this poverty na something. The poverty na the civil society they make a lot of people and they know the father they respect. And well, some people then get skills for beyond the civil society will forget get funds for take care of the family. So there are certain things they know they go down to. But most of the things are, are poverty. Civil society in a person way they take issues to government. Civil society you know they replace government. Now opposition they replace government. So if people you know they get water, and they can't team up and talk about the water. But the moment you come out from issues, you they go to what they call political point scoring. So you try for score either you try for let you get the person, you try for support a particular uh, the government in power, or you they try for for oppose them. So I think say another one day. The same thing will don't happen to, to the state, like SLPP, APC level. That same way, they, they, don't, they, they, they go down to, to civil society and, and the media as well. So, me feel, say, one of the things that OK normally do, or most the activities what they do, we they try, we, like, we they go on a radio so for let we educate the public. We they go on a radio for let we, we put pressure on government, like, what thing happens, so what would they do so? Where, for example, we get issue with with uh with the census process me come on my amba i not take and say are the advocate of my amba people i take and say we'll get problem with the census the next country fine and i not will not do census reports i can see on 98.1 i share the report three weeks with statistics value so the first thing civil society they do now how they make sure first the person where they now they sit the what do you call it driving seat of policy in no waiting you they talk about if you not do them, you can't radio. If you not do them, in fact, that you can't radio now because you want to combine public pressure. You educate the public, say, this is the problem. This person is waiting authority for this problem. You know, they do them. But the car, they say no more. One of the big, big, big this division we don't be. You know, say so you get some people and uh, we then feel, say, tradie, they've been entitled. You, you know, you, but now they are not entitled anymore. We don't civil see society we, people yeah, civil society yeah. people. Yeah. We don't see now we then count election results. Some civil society they even run away come on at this country because they feel say then go feel the outcome of so the election. So now that the space so day for, the 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 space day for the the civil society well. operates. Space day, nobody they talk say today they don't arrest me. Yes, they can do intimidation, but we compare to other countries. Eh? Space day for when we publish census report, I see a lot of banging on me. But right. you know, you get for stand for what you stand for. And 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 they take this opportunity back. The thing where some people they talk about Marcella, the thing where they with somebody, with the, the reaction to Marcella, Marcella free for let talk with you want talk. If he talk in a way where you know like, you self can't talk with you know like. But for let you go begin the mischaracterize them all over. I think say it's an affront to free speech. So but all under they boil down to the positions where people then they take because of the wallet. Uh, I, I think saying that one day now we need for uh, I'll ask the same question to Valnora Edwin. You said done the in the civil society space for so many years. Mm. Now we don't decide the civil society they're gonna the country. Waiting that you take on the issue of civil society, waiting that they do now or waiting then supposed for do. So the issue again as a union <coughs> problem. <coughs> a lot of people them not they be professional, would they see that in the civil service, would they see that in the public service? 
So they permeate the entire society. We even talk about if we get state people, we talk about the religious bodies them. A lot of people they're not they be professional in the field where they supposed for they and civil society are part of that. So it's rather unfortunate say then way for be I can call them maybe we are like the power brokers because we suppose you could be individual, <coughs> you can be organizations. It can be formal and informal, but we key all now for make if there are certain issues, even within your own locality, you can stand up, engage the relevant stakeholders for create that change. It could be from a very small level to a very big level. But unfortunately, people don't get distracted by this entitlement thing of now we turn now. And this conversation, it really gets for stop. Because, you know, they be very useful to Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, now we all get them. And we all, either we come up from the east or the west or the north or the south. Now they we just get for Como. Elect Usa Yude. Even if you go there na Antarctica, you, if you still na a Union, you get for commerce on site originally. So that spirit the Nindo unfortunately were inside the civil society sector, where that level of objectivity we suppose for they you they see people and they come forward, but that level of objectivity we suppose for they it seems for the dwindle. And I think so even if we talk about the issue of intimidation and harassment, not even today will they start. Not so today they start. We just get for remain focused. And but most importantly, as my colleagues say, now affront to free speech. People then get for stop for attack person. If you don't like waiting the person, say you can't talk to your own. We all they give analysis because we get salon at heart. Mm -hmm. We want let salon improve. If you don't like waiting, I say, okay, you self come. Now make we can a broad platform like this. We not go na corner. We can a broad platform like this. We share what we face in our ways as a nation. We can move forward. If you don't like it, you self come. Say no, I don't agree. Now so me feel say Sierra Leone. They move forward. All right. In fact, in fact, there is a deliberate attempt for letting divide civil society. By who? By by political parties. I mean, Valora they keep saying this. Not it's really through which it, means. Like for example, you get there are times where people get them them preferred civil society. Like for example, if you watch, if you ask Ibrahim Tommy, if you ask me, you ask Safa Abdullah. There is no time where the previous administration invites we see when I come, like when they make a constitutional review process. Ibrahim Tommy, now one of the biggest organizations on the rule of law, he was not invited. So, if then, so that are the way they wait. Really so, why? Uh, because politicians they don't want to face tough questions, they talk say no more. This way, they go face, and then they not get nothing for do with tribe. Okay, if I know, say. So if if we get this kind uh, repeat, say no, Mister Fua don't come, Mister Fua they create me on civil society. It not go ever done. So it's still even in the civil, even in the civil society realm and the media realm, you go still get tit, tit for that. All right, over to you, um, Joabas Bangura. What are you on take on the position of civil society? We have to develop the maturity for take criticism. In order in our culture, even in our us. People, if for let you us we wef self begin tell you say that we will behave to me so yesterday and all like huh? Nah, nah, front. You know, they are with culture at all. So, now they make they build God out of we leaders them because we're not used for able for constructively say, pa, pa, you do this fine, no, but yeah, so I think say, need adjustment. Anybody would want anything say in our position. And, and so, we are ability for you to get to the point where we would, and again, I see some of the posts where then we then post against Marcella. Just couching them and say you are defending whatever you don't take in the side of the opposition whenever they make those things. So we have to get to the point. Agree? And again, it's maturity. We are educating ourselves. We are encouraging ourselves. All of us. Let's get to the point where we would we would talk on issues and we would accept people their opinion and their opinion. Come say we own and just the maturity. We do not use for criticize we leaders at all. all not right. to anybody we support government. They for government. Not to anybody we say something they go wrong. They in our opposition. You know, we have to be free and get the ability. I can clap. I clap for 1,002 presidents, but you don't do. And I have to be able to get the ability to be able to say, pa, in a respectable way, I think say we need to fix this. All right. And, well, and, and not be treated as opposition. I think so. No time no ever do for discuss national <laughs> issues because <laughs> we get a look at the national um, conference. We, I don't think so, we'll get much time again. We, I mean, Algeria, they call, and other society, they call for postponement. And also, we get a look at waiting now going forward for Muna. And now mm. the land, we now, if we not be careful, we're going to be issued in this country. Um, because we don't really see the way how the land issue they go um, right now. I start with you, um, IGR. You know, you know, some of the issues there are so, now one week, if particularly interested in, in the duty work. Mm. Lands, lands, Ministry of Lands right now, now a problem. If 
and President Biono intervene in it. You agree with that? Well, not to just me agree with them. We don't get a, a research, uh, the, the recent biometer will ask citizens then. In fact, 10% of citizens across country, especially in the Western area, if you blow down the up in the Western area and a big number, then talk say land grabbing is on the increase. It's a problem. So, and land, now the thing and the way they define you, whether you're in a part of a country. So if somebody can't talk, say this land where you get, not so you get them. It's a problem. If you take between the two political parties, I start just now for say the previous a APC administration, they actually developed the land policy, I think by 2015. SLPP even quote them, say that land policy they we they can't implement them. Government is continuity. So I not think say in the 21st century, 2019, you go get a minister we go carry bulldozer for land. I think say that the policy we implement. So that one day is bad, it's condemnable the way we we they carry out we we if I, I go to ACC, the amount of cases them where they be. To ACC, I see the bar situation. I believe seeing as something where if it don't grip everybody's attention, even in my office, I get four land cases. Then in, in my office, my colleagues okay. they no more talk. Say this person they don't go tamper with my land. Hey, you because me grew up in the south, people they take and say are familiar with ministers. No, go talk to that person there for me. Go talk to them. You know, so we we are, we really need to see how we de implement the land policy. All right, Valnoa. The land um, issue right now. I think so. I really want to applaud the Bar Association for the letter because I associate myself with the issues they way they raise and the concerns them. I think say so, the Ministry of Lands um, need for rethinking strategy. Um, you know they go begin harass, intimidate people and for their land. There are processes that needs to be followed. And we don't they get this conversation about um, harmonizing the land tenure system. Because mm. if you they go harass person, say why forget hundred um, acre or so land we don't get from 1960-something. I don't know say, who's law they say, and again paper. I don't know who's law they say, you know, forget them. And if even you want to address them, there is a way you go about it. So it is something that um, institutions then, who is relevant, whether it's the president himself, whether it's the chief minister, um, need for really put and down and make it follow the procedure. Because these are things where they bring um, discontent. This is not thing where can threaten cohesion. If they bring draw draw, you know, you they make a, in action they make a lot of people and they feel marginalized and people and the feds you they wonder whose institution you they go because of the thinking that everywhere is <coughs> wrapped up somewhere. People they don't know do I take it to court? But I gladly a few people and they rise up and say what did they do wrong? This is my land. I have my document and they fight them. But I think it's an advice to him that that's not the way you want for even if you need for go reclaim government land. That's not the way you need for this. Let me harmonize the land. The western area is the smallest area in Sierra Leone. Look where land and the big other side. We are sure say for be state land. If governments need land for do something, go to the other parts there of Sierra Leone and go take their land and they and do it in a more professional and um, democratic manner. This, your citizens are not your enemies. Um, Joab Bass? Um, add to the um, Bar Association and Voice, there's law where they show the process where they give in land, we get a paper. If you want to pull the land that the person hand, you have to follow through those process back. Go chase the team, write, lawyer write the person, can you appear, but going with bulldozers. Uh, we just, just want for some time. So um, I'm, 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 I can't, but in president in recent statements now, in parliament, mm. now one of the ministry we applaud. He commended them for doing So that. much for, yes, which yes. means he's in support of whatever the minister they do. Well, now I make we do the biometer. We know one for the in the situation who say, for example, people, people kept complaining about the education ministry in the last administration. To to the point, it became a crisis. So every year, with the with the with the toxin at this not the score, you understand that? With the toxin at this not the score, and it get for be as objective as possible. There is a limit, the extent we can go. So if people then they complain, then the president say no, this is not my best person. Um, I think say it, it you get don't for. see a clip of her when they go boss one pan body they up bulldoze like they dance. <laughs> no, I don't see that. All right, <laughs> <but> <laughs> it's, it's a crisis because so, radio democracy they get complaints mm -hmm. every day about the land the lands ministry. So as civil society activists, as we still look at this issue of land business, as alone this moment now for reclaim government land them as a country, we want for focus on or issues we get for do it. 
salon people are interested? You know, um, I, I, I read some interesting piece. I think say, this was a yeah, writer in Maryland um, about a land na beach where it's a, a one Chinese, it, yeah. Chinese, they don't come, mm -hmm. they don't with suffer. So in fact, the person they talk say, Coltan Dede, mm -hmm. it's a mineral Dede. So the land question, you say in fact, they can't, they can't get Chinese. If we not take care of we land, if we not sit down really, we discuss them, it's a problem. Even me have been a land victim, land grabbing victim, upline, not to free to no more. 105 acre land, you get Syria Rutile, if they talk say, I take this, I won't pay. In fact, I recognize another person. Land rights a tie to citizenship. Mm -hmm. So where people in the talk about them, um, mm -hmm. not to away for joke with. Mm -hmm. We they begin to see now groups and even ethnic associations, they don't begin to talk say we are threatened and especially yeah. minorities. Mm -hmm. So they now make a fine law look at the land question critically as as, as a nation. In fact, me they recommend strongly. If that one of the reasons who, who they call say, let we let we push the, the conference go be answered. Now, for let all groups then get an opportunity for go share that thing and they and also together. I just want to ask you ask on that question. The, I mean, the national conference get for coming to Manitri in for on the twenty third or so, and then with CCSOs they ask for make them change the dates. But long I think save them for change the dates. I think they have to. The main reason why I endorse that view they, is because if you they can. <clears throat> say, I mean, you they organize that sort of conference because there are challenges we need for discuss. But the key stakeholders have to be at the table. You know, they go discuss South Sudan in fact, and then all the key players, they know that you go talk to one person. It's not going to make any difference. So the key stakeholders they need for them at the table, <coughs> negotiations, then for them even begin start behind the scenes. And, and as we they identify all the small, small pocket issues here of land, of um, um, groups of people where they feel marginalized, of the political settlement issues, of some justice issues, some small, small conversation them for them begin to happen. And the conference is not an end in itself because beyond them, a lot more work needs to be done. So, um. myself and Dorsele, we wait a little while until some of them groundwork here has been done. They open the space for more people than for add their voice on how it should be structured and waiting for be the expected outcome. And then it can proceed. Um, Lavali. Yeah, I think say I associate me with Valora. Don't talk. I know you before repeat them again. I think oh. say I associate myself entirely with what you said. Okay, um, Joe, same thing. President Bio in place now history is so unique. He may have been to money one, he may have been to money two. We usher the country to the position already. And it, I think it's for three terms that God would allow him, in spite of all the boss aid and all the things that they for make a live to the point where. He would be given such an a honor. A young idea at an age where it's dynamic. Uh, I see life. Each time he talks, he they tell the person they talk from my heart. It's not to like say paper with the right to the animal for read. And so again, want to just appeal to President Bill. Cohesion cannot be legislated. Mm. We cannot mm. have yes, you cannot legislate and say, well, power part now, everybody for come, so logos you don't place so that would that come and make. So would they listen to even the jingle will be the place so just now? Um, the jingle was provocative because you want to be able to say the jingle when they do for announce it, for do the, the work out of parliament. Yes, for the work out of parliament, they add and they because you, you want to just go back, be a father, be a father, be a mm. father. There may be pressures around you for say, let's turn back, but be a Mandela. And, and really, I'm rooting for President Bio with all my heart for him to succeed. But you know, some sweller people need for just sweller small. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, you the elder, the woman, the person who is ready for sweller the most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the night is three, remember, not to do our way to the to do our way to the most. Now, the one way, but all waiting and doing, we say, no, let's all this country together. And it then a president bill in eight, now in beginner. So, again, I joined the thing. We can postpone this a little. We can just bring the voices together and say, let's push on one week, let's push on two weeks. All them voices there with they can we bring yourself together? Let's we see now. You can't not, you cannot legislate this because I don't put it there. Everybody can get a power power and any decision will take can be applied, it wouldn't work. So looking beyond now the Bintumani three, from the question we don't ask today, we they can't wrap up the program. Waiting at the way forward. I will start with you again, Andrew. Um the the way forward at the new direction. Why the new the direction, direction, the new direction, because we don't see all side. New the direction as in no new direction as as in SLPP manifesto, but new direction as in a new direction. <laughs> <laughs> that means say, if you they go this way, you see say it wrong. How you they turn back or talk say this way now the right way? Not to how many road you make, not to how many school you build, 
but how you they take the society being say no this way is wrong no go so that leadership like waiting with the try for cultivate really not the new direction we don't talk about tit, tat, tit for tat waiting go be new direction how would they move away from tit for tat we don't talk about parliament waiting go be in a new direction how we get a system now where parliament they actually question the executive and and that way they even the executive they strong because it is no say all what they do i get forget scrutiny so any government will not open itself to scrutiny that government they go they always they try for borrow solution from abroad but what are they so, for the scrutinized government where the civil society itself there is the, the legitimate the legitimate a ground parliament. for for scrutinized parliament uh, government and parliament okay. but if you go talk no don't give you talk about the for that if you go talk say no law forget about the problem this go take boss from china mr they go take boss from china or this go to mr they go do this at the end of the day the, the solution to salon problem now for that mendy man that evening man that career man then they sit down being together they say you know this diamond are all get them law fences law shape and fine le ghana man chinese man naya na we young adam and e, garden of eden now god creates what we may feel say the first point now the new direction the, and if we get a new direction we go the shift from what they call consumptive politics to productive politics Within a consumptive policy, that politics where they say, you know, I don't campaign for you now. After the election, me have to go to Baramuya checkpoint. I want to work in NRA. Now, this is what they mean by now. If you get consumptive politics, like what you would see in a place like Rwanda, you they get performance contract to everybody. And that performance contract, not to contract no more with state house, they know. Everybody they know say, you waiting at this local council or you waiting at this ministry. Uh, this year, and a 10 culvert or 10 road you they make. Now, this money we don't give you for her. All man, they know. If you don't do them, when they sack you, then they talk say they sack you because you're not a lokoma or you're not a man. So, we get for get rigorous system for performance, contracting, and monitoring. And that go make civil society will come in. And me, they advise mm. civil society mix up. If any civil society we don't go to a government ministry where they blackmail, talk to me. If you not do this, I will go talk. Right. Not even pay attention to them. I think so my colleagues in one. All right. Yes. Yeah, so you, um, Joe, the way forward. I, I must mean I get 30 seconds. One minute. I must <laughs> one minute. Me, I must <laughs> one minute. Get, I okay. <laughs> I get I get one minute. Make I say, um, I break down waiting. I, 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 I say them for the uh, productivity. Talk about consumption from, from the consumption um, stuff to productivity. Um, there are a lot of things where I, I, I could see gov uh, President Bureau in policies then. A lot of the things are very good on paper and some already done the takeoff. I don't want for even dwell on the one then there. I just want to close with something where I share with one young person where they put in a big government position quite recently. I went to his office. We played, talked together and I prayed with him. We knelt down together in an office and we prayed together. Amongst other things, I, I do. I'm a, I'm a pastor. Let me share this thing with every young person where they don't give new position. Na cabinet, na minister. Na, you're a minister now. You're a member of parliament. You the sub na MDA. They don't give work. I said something to this young man. We now for share to you, everybody. Every young person where they listen today. Never forget what it felt like to be down there. Yeah. Never. I said to this person, remember the anger and vexation you used to feel about the injustices around you. I pointed some of the things that will be in the na Facebook about how angry it was about university, about everything. Remember how you wish somebody could do something about it. Remember how you wish you could have the power to do something about it. That day you wished for is now here. The power you wish you have, you now have. What are you going to do with it? It's the big question. This problem, not a PCSLPP problem. It's a people problem. And if we all hand over with heart, Look at the company Sierra Leone and across the board, northern and southern. It's not, it's not, you know, like I said, go back before independence, mm. change them, party with their name, call them C4C, call them NGC, you would have been back at the same point. It's those fundamental issues of self interest, of patriotism, of putting country before force, not just mod or for camera, but in reality. Mm. But do not forget the pain we use for feel we've been in a client town. They wait for taxi, they wait for Puda Puda. If you lost that one day, you they become a statistic. You don't add by the problem in this country. Young people, we can fight together. You don't get the power now we've been to pay for. Let's
influence. It's not. I mean, those are some of the things. But that day-to-day -day interaction, that's the only way we can build cohesion. We also need for understand, say, governance and continuity. Every government will come, it they cry down the last government. It won't start afresh. It won't start all over again in every institution. It know they work so. In fact, even in the U.S., they have a system where then they left at least one minister they left just for that institutional memory and carrying it forward. We don't say let we do that in the Nayao, but we just get for members. So we know they begin bring every new face, new people, new all thing, discard this, discard that. The good points are there. Walk along with it. This tit for tat government not they help we. Because that last government, me doam, so me self get for doam. Because people have not been talking at the last ten, so wait to make them they talk now. It has to stop because it's not helping um, Sierra Leone. We get forget independence of state institutions. We don't talk about, you know, Usai people then go go, waiting institutions they need for do. We don't talk about the judiciary, the legislature, the police, and all that thing. And they, they have to be, they need to have operational independence for build public trust because one thing about democracy there has to be a space where when you are aggrieved you can go and you can discuss the issue we also get for members say we get for depoliticize the public service right now the the civil service and the public service it seems for be more partisan past the politician and then safe we get for get professionals and people behave as professionals serving the um um the people and we also get for members, say, Sierra Leone, as we say, say, now the, the we own garden of Eden. We are sitting on a gold mine. This now country, we get so much resources, equal distribution of resources. We don't mention, I say, the angry, the, the deprivation. It they stretch people there beyond their means because a few just feel, say, now we for enjoy all of this. Mm -hmm. And I think the last point where I go mention is we get for really established proper systems and processes when it comes to appointment and dismissals. When a new government comes, there has to be um, like a transition law. Now, my last comment where I just want to end with <laughs> last, yeah. last, <laughs> yes. last. In terms of moving forward, it's up to you and the next generation, the young men and women in this room, to work towards deepening and sustaining the democratic ideal. It is your country now. It is your world. I hope I have convinced you that deepening our democracy is a crucial struggle, not just for future prosperity and peace, but also for our fundamental human aspiration to live as free men and women. Right. Maybe well, before we end this program, <laughs> let's just end with a text message. We say good morning. Um, I want to give you a pat on your back for such a wonderful and timely program. Hope. The More, more of the messages that I won't able to read, as you know, the discussion will go. But we will definitely find time. We will post some of the concerns there on the Facebook page. Well, now this edition of the program, Good Morning Salon Golefuna. Plenty thank you to the studio guests, them, Joabas Bangura, um, Andula Valley, and Vanora Edwin for joining the program this morning.